Another big story that we're following this morning. New York City police still searching for more than a dozen people wanted in connection with two big fights in Times Square. One of those fights ended with a migrant teen stabbed in the back. The other with a man hospitalized after a brutal beating. Eyewitness News reporter Reagan Meji joins us live in Midtown with the investigations and how New York City police are responding. Reagan. Yeah, Pedro, they're still looking for, in fact, 19 people involved in two separate incidents here in Times Square. Now, this all taking place last night. The first one at 5.30 at night. You know, please say a 17-year-old who they believe is a migrant from Nicaragua was chased down by a large group of people and stabbed in the back near a migrant shelter on 42nd Street near 8th Avenue. A knife and a broom handle were recovered at the scene. Seven people were arrested, and police are looking for 16 others. Now, we spoke with a witness who did not want to give her name who says she saw a group of young men acting suspicious in the subway minutes before the attack. They all turn around and then he has let's go and they pull up the mask and they all start charging this way down the street. And then what happened to you? I was laying on the sidewalk because I was on the bus stop. I was laying sideways. I fell over in the street. All I know was as soon as the guy said, let's go, whichever direction they started running, I guess I just maybe was in the path that they were in, and I got knocked over. How are you feeling today? A little sore on my right side, but I'm happy to be okay. And then two hours later, a 28-year-old man, police believe is from the area, was punched and kicked in the head and face outside the Hard Rock Cafe at 43rd and Broadway. Now three people are in custody. Police are searching for two others. As for the condition for the 28-year-old and the 17-year-old, both are listed in stable condition. Now police don't believe that both of those attacks are connected.